Now on an update on the COVID-19 situation here, 23 new cases were confirmed today. They included three community cases, all of whom are work pass holders. There were also four imported cases who had been placed on stay-home notices upon arrival here. The Health Ministry will share more details tonight. In other local news, Deputy Prime Minister Heng Swee Keat will give a speech when Parliament sits next Monday, outlining the progress Singapore has made in combating the coronavirus, as well as the country's fiscal position and its strategies to emerge stronger from the crisis. He said in a Facebook post today that the government will also table a supplementary supply bill on the same day to reallocate resources for the measures he announced on August 17th to extend support for businesses and workers. Parliament will debate the bill and these measures, which amount to some $8 billion. The ministerial statement will be delivered at 1.30pm this coming Monday, October 5th. Monthly electricity bills for households are on average set to go up by 9% from tomorrow. SP Group said the electricity tariff for the next three months will rise by an average of 1.83 cents per kilowatt hour compared to the previous quarter. This due to higher energy costs which form a major component of the electricity tariff and are paid to power generation companies. Other components like network costs and market support services remain unchanged. Meanwhile, gas tariffs for households are also set to increase by 83 cents per kilowatt hour or 5% for the same period. Citygas said fuel cost hikes have pushed these tariffs up. According to people with knowledge of the matter, Amazon is pl planning to take over some of Citigroup's office space in Singapore. It will lease three floors covering about 90,000 square feet at Asia Square Tower 1. Staff will reportedly move into the new offices early next year. Amazon's plans in Singapore come as some of China's biggest technology corporations like Tencent, Alibaba Group and ByteDance make this their beachhead for the rest of Asia. Amazon currently has about 200 job openings in Singapore for roles covering data analytics, sales and advertising, business development and marketing and public relations. In a Facebook post today, Minister for Culture, Community and Youth Edwin Tong said no one has ever been fined for flying the national flag beyond the time period allowed. He added that the authorities don't plan to start doing so. Mr Tong was addressing concerns over recent media reports about a potential fine for those who continue to display the flag after today, September 30th. But he said in cases of deliberate disrespect against the flag in any way, action will be taken. Now the law which stipulates a fine of up to $1,000 for offenders is meant to safeguard the dignity of the flag.